We're one minute into the bonsoir, the bonsoir era, man. Bonsoir, huggy. You know, Huggy, I installed the one of them playtests, and I saw your profile picture. Who is that man? Who is this blood? Who's that? Who's that guy? This isn't Uromi. For real, for real. Who's that guy, bro? Marshway now? It vol involves being European. <laughs> Is um the phase three boss Frida F R I E D E Frida? Cause I remember in Dark Souls three, there's like a boss you fight, and then you fight her her fucking decrepit father who's like in the same room as her, and then you fight them both. You know what I mean? So I think that's the phase three I'm thinking of, yeah. Oh, it's a character from a TV show. Is it from Camelot? Oh. I watched a, a, a Merlin from BBC with my mom back in the day. You find her Freya, then you find Freya and uh, Father Ariando, and then Black Frame Freya. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very cool, very cool. Oh, yeah? Ian? I didn't... Y Ian, you're a souls enjoyer. I knew you were participating in the conversation, but I didn't know your, uh, your repertoire. What is your, uh, from software game experience? Because I'm pretty novice to them. I've just played a lot of Elden Ring. You've played them all? Whoa, like soft completions, 100%. Bonafide fucking challenge runs. PvP. Like my boy Toberson's really into like PvP and invasions and stuff. It's a very funny comedy show based on King Arthur Legends. Oh, okay. Shout out to Friendly. They fake you out and make the health bar go away. Oh. Reminds me of the uh the Sekiro ape. The headless or um guardian ape and the headless ape. Shout out to severing immortality. Uh, Give him a smooch for that big ol' swing. Oh my god, Alabaster of Big Osh Wings incoming. Anybody ready? Anybody ready for that? Hey, there we go. You don't want to smoke, so ask for the check, please. Your forking fuck orphan yo. I've heard orphan of cause is like he's like he's like that dude, dude. You platinum bloodborne before DLC came out. I have to kill orphan. Wait, um, so Elden Ring DLC came out and no more achievements came out. So you might still have it platinum. Just have it beat the DLC. Oh shit. He, his name's Kotodonk. He's dumb and always talks about food. Huggy, you never talk about food. <laughs> Is he just... He's just friendly. Is that what you like him? Bro, he's literally not you. 
how he lives off monster and cigarettes. And good intentions, perhaps. <laughs> eh. Well, Elden Ring doesn't, but we just fucking patch it in. Yeah, I like I like achievements. I do hate when new content adds achievements, so does that count? Is that a thing? I hate that. I'm so doid, bro. Maybe I can get the biggest swing of all time. Ugh. I got basically one trophy away from platinum and three in blood world. I just couldn't do the grind anymore. I mean, achievements are kind of like, they're, 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 dude, getting achievements is really um, tedious. Like, so this is kind of how I do, yeah. I just play. I enjoy just playing. I play more. And then I'm like, you know what? Let me get those tedious achievements now. I might as well. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's just like in DVD. Like, I don't, I don't play DVD because I want to do all the achievements, because I want to do all the challenges. It's just something I do because I'm already playing it. Does it make sense? Because I absolutely wouldn't be doing that if, um, if I, like, you know what I mean? It's just more content. It's just, like, more content for me. Dude, right, I don't know. I really like that system in Sekiro. That's really cool. Like, just doing boss runs and shit. But, like, why did the other games not include that, you know? I guess because Sekiro doesn't encourage different builds. You're still just man with katana. Like, you're always man with katana that parries things with a katana. That's all you are. Your shinobi tools change, but, like, your shinobi tools are, like, based on exploration and stuff. And pretty much, I already have the best ones. Like, it's Shuriken, Firecracker... And, um, there's a shield. There's, like, a big hat you can get. And those are, like, the three I've, I, I, I've never seen anyone use anyone else. I've never seen anyone use flamethrower. I used axe for some mobbing, like, the shielded enemies. You have to use the axe. But, like, return players aren't mobbing, right? That's just me as a first-time player. Yeah, I love big hands. Yeah, firecracker's OP, right? Like, firecracker's... Shit's so good. Yo, I platinum Bloodborne. I just can't play it. Dude, let's go. Me and Elden Ring for real. Me and Elden Ring for real, for real, dead ass. I'm over 500 hours now, Huggy. Huggy, when are we gonna? Oh. You must be hungry. Yo, Young Brandon, aka Brandon. Thank you so much for the raid, man. How was your stream? Aka Brandon. That's a uh, asterisk. EK Brandon. There we go. It's a set. Hi, guys. DBD plus Swift. Very cool, man. Very cool. Hope you had a good stream, friend. How was it? Enjoying some 2v8s? You got your tome done yet? Are you schmoovin' and groovin', perhaps? New game plus four or something on Bloodborne, but I don't have my safe phone anymore because I don't have PlayStation Plus. Yeah, man. Just start a new one. Why do you care about your save file? <sighs> I'm telling you, treat Souls games like roguelikes, and it just makes them so much funner in your head. Like, I don't think of it like, oh, I'm gonna do this and that. Like, I think, you know, let's do a run. Let's do a, let's do an incant run. Let's do a blood, blood, uh, Bloodhound curved sword run. You know, let's do a serpent hunter run. That's how I think about it. And it's just so much funner. It's so much funner, bro. You cheated on DS3? What the fuck? Me when I save quit. I'm cheating. Stream was fun. Do time with the games. Nothing crazy, really. This game's been pretty good. But in general, nothing crazy. Yo, what's up, Bloodhound? Welcome. Blades of Mercy skill. Dude, I, I do want to do a. Uh, exactly. I want to do a repost run. And Blades of Mercy and the DLC will be essential for that run. And so will something that makes crits better. And I'll probably run... I think it's called Golden Parry. It, there's a parry that has the most frames. And I'll run that one. And if I really like that, maybe I can, like, whittle it down and do, like, Buckler Parry or something, you know? Because I've never parried in a Souls game. 
Young Sekiro has been the, the only game I've parried in thus far, but <laughs> it's way harder if you don't parry in Sekiro, so it makes sense, right? Elden Ring is a Blade of Mercy. Oh, it's not a weapon, it's a talisman. Um, you get attack damage increase on crits. Whether that be Poise Brink crits or um, like your reposting crit. Have you seen those warriors from Hammerfell? They have curved swords. Curved swords! Oh my god. Shout out to the red mains in Skyrim. <laughs> You know, that was my first character in Skyrim, the the red the red main, because I was just like, bro's buff as shit, bro. But my most recent, I did a Skyrim playthrough recently. We did a legendary difficulty run. Um, I played an orc with a two hand. I was literally guts, bro. I'm literally guts orc, orc guts, the mighty orc. Because <laughs> you know my, you guys know my name's Rock. So if you uh, flip the O and the R around, it's orc. Funny, the mighty orc, bro. Use cheat engine? Well, dare I say that's a pretty, like, whatever use for cheat engine. Like, it's not like you're saying you're, like, speedrunning the game. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is so tragic. I have self care because I'm dead hook, so I die. That's so sad, dude. Shout out to these guys not taking hits from me, even though they were both healthy, like, right next to me. Fucking tragic. Whatever. I had some good chase that game, so I'm not, I'm not upset.